Okay, you know Michael Noel Prescott's the 666, the beast, third prophet, whatever you want to call him. This guy who has been sexually abused since the time he was born, raped and severely tortured in order to cause fragments in his mind, to be able to use him in mind control, controlled breeding, okay, in order to be able to eventually create this baby, Lucifer baby. And Michael Noel Prescott, Michael Noel McClue, whatever his last name is, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I've heard it in the video. And Tiffany Hunholt, the mother and father of baby Lucifer. Oh, baby Lucifer, oh, I miss you, I'm gonna have to, I've gotta get it to him to help soon and help him. My poor baby. Um, okay, well, like, it's like this. When you, okay, when I was received that phone call and I was told that you were not, did not have that 800 or eight bedroom luxurious house that you were taking me in Trinity to a military or a, a, a science, a science insane asylum and the, the nickname for it was called Icebox. Um, Icebox, Minnesota. I'd never, I'd never heard of that before, okay? And then I called you, and you answered Trinity's phone, and then I was like, well, what is it? Is it true? What is it? You kept saying it's a magical formula, you know, but I, it, for all I know, okay, the person calling me could have just been deliberately saying that to make it sound bad so that it would break up things up and make things not work. I sometimes jump to conclusions too fast without getting the facts. Um, of course, I since then have done my research in extreme detail and have found out exactly what Icebox Minnesota is. And um, that's where you took Trinity, that's where she deserves to be as far as I'm concerned. Because Trinity has not had to be under mind control for quite some time now. Me and her did a magic spell and magic chant. The only reason she lets herself go under that is because of guilt and plus, you know, uh, Michael, or you're turning her into a fucking dope head, by the way, a meth head, okay? She, at least she didn't have that. Now, you know, you're fucking with, fucking with her with that. But still, um, I was asked to, to make the baby first, to conceive the baby, me, because I had the DNA that was compatible in order to create this child. And then I said, no. Okay, and then the other girls, just the other handful that could have created the baby, never got asked. Okay, they're born behind the veil, controlled, and raped, and tortured, and beaten, and bullshit since the time they were born. So nobody ever got the chance to ask. And I try to take that into consideration, understanding. I understand that before I, I even, you know, any of this, before you even had the baby and stuff, I understood that it's possible that you might do to the baby what was done with you, but you promised me you wouldn't, you guys. And Michael, you totally promised me that you wouldn't. Because you knew how bad it made me feel, but still, it wasn't how bad it made you feel, which still means you had absolutely have no, as far as I can tell, no conscience or no remorse for what you do. Um, and Tiffany Unholt definitely has not written me back. She called me the other day, hi, Tree! And it's like, it was so sweet to hear her voice, because I love all of you guys. But you know what? The sucker punch. Remember, Trinity sent me that video that you don't know. Um, I love all of you guys, okay? But the truth is, is that... I should not jump to conclusions so fast, and I should not be so uh, like that, you know. But I did do my research, and I did find out that exactly what Icebox Minnesota is, and it, it was very, very bad, bad, bad place. And I've also, from my sources that be, have found out that you're not the only one that's, because um, there's certain people that have to have signatures in order to get her admitted in there. Because she talks too much and she's causing a threat, whatever. She's like, I'm ready to tell my story. She's going to come out and tell her story. And she would have defended and protected every one of you who were guilty if you would have went out and did the right thing and helped her tell the story too. Never would have made you look like an ass or fucking be ashamed. You would have been heroes. But right now, okay, this place is where they take people who are um, super knowledgeable about super secret things. The... the self-proclaimed gods don't want anybody else to know and so this is a science laboratory where they just it's the biggest horror flick you ever imagined it's like fucking the biggest horror monster movie ever imagined and 
it's too bad, Trinity, because you know, ice boxes, you know what they love to do, one of their one of their um, new technologies or one of their new methods that they use in order to be able to control the person, like um, keep the aging down, keep the person like bleh, whatever, you know, like they freeze them. They freeze them. They have found that freezing people works now. They can figure out how to do it. Um, Trinity, you sent your daughter, Shara, and your other two sons, you sent their DNA to the Royal Machine to have it activated in the Royal Machine. You sold your children. And then when you were here, Trinity, and I was like, man, why do you let your son go to, you know, you told me your son wasn't even using his name anymore. And Gerald Badar even mentioned that they were going to, you know, your sons were next and stuff but with all that. Because the Royal Machine, all the biology, whatever, being able to make it so demons or aliens or what the fuck ever you want to call it, can have it live inside people who have, are activated in the Royal Machine. And mainly dragons because there's no more bodies being born that would are compatible for the dragons to inhabit. So now they're doing it artificially but getting also super fucking human powers or whatever. So you sold, and, and when you were here Trinity I asked you why would you take, because you were dropping your son off and I go Trinity you know that your son, when you take him to those people, wherever you take him, whatever family, I don't know, you know that they use him in child pornography, you know, read the front page of my, my channel right here. Listen to the story about Cindy. Cindy, okay, these are children raised in Illuminati sex tapes or whatever. Trinity's dad being Brett Millian or Sangarian or whatever you want to call it, member of Bohemian Grove and her uncle. Obviously behind all of this, and that's the only reason Trinity's the ambassador of Shab Shiva. And Rat ambassador of Shabba. <laughs> Shab whatever, you ain't gonna be you ain't shit because you're a puppet, Trinity, and you didn't have to be you sold out your kids, you fucking did it. When you were here, you said, well, because the families that take them have, it's really good money, and it's comfortable, and it's secure, and it, money, comfortable, and security. Those are the three words that came out of your mouth when I asked you why you were letting them do that to your children, which is, you don't even see it. Just because you don't see it, you look the other way, you drop them off at their parties and let them go for three days, five days a week, you know, to do their, entertain the fucking global elites, and fucking their sick ass fucking mother fucking goddamn child pornography snuffing fucking parties I mean it's not even mild cash these are you the, the way that these children are tortured Trinity it's your fault your fault your fault your fault you could have stopped it you could have stopped it a long time ago you even got the money to be able to stop it you know what you didn't do you didn't lift a finger and then you try to blame it all off on your mom and your dad and your aunt and uncle Disney Trinity, you are the ones that got money for your kids. You're the one making money off of your children. You. You are the one who makes money and is comfortable by letting her children be sexually abused in those horrible fucking satanic, the, whatever you want to call it, shindigs, meetings, um, conventions, or what the fuck ever, Trinity. And then you sat there and watched Michael Noel Prescott and Tiffany Hunholt rape their newborn baby. Didn't do a damn thing stop it or even to the you told your mom and it really upset your mom by the way you're it super super bad upset your mom about what's going on with you trinity and i'm willing to bet like my master mason okay even though he's a fucking nothing but a fucking he's history he is like so history man he's fucking the rest of his life he thought he was in pain now but he's never gonna stop being in pain because they're not gonna kill him they're just gonna let him live and keep torturing him but anyhow his wife doesn't know that he's member of Bohemian Grove or that he's inhabited by the Draconian or anything like that. He's, his wife is not involved, involved in any of that shit whatsoever. None. Zero. Okay? So chances are that your mom and your aunt Disney very well may be just as innocent because when you were telling me about all the horror stories when you were a little kid in Trinity, you never once told me anything about how your mom sexually abused you or, or tortured you or raped you or made you have sex with your cousins or be a part of child pornography and da 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 and you, you know everything that you told me that was done to you you told me it was done to you by your dad okay remember bohemian grove reptilian dragon okay i'm not justified in saying it's okay but it's a, it's a lot more forgivable and understandable than what if your mom would have did it it would have been a lot harder to forgive her but i know that she didn't I know that she had to look the other way, but I know that that was because once she realized who she was married to and the families that she was involved in, she was fucking, there's no way she could have, they would have killed her. And your dad, making all the millions of dollars by selling you when you were a baby and stuff like that, you know, Trinity, 
and you told me that you fought against it the whole time. You said, rebelled, you wouldn't cooperate in this night. And then you said, oh, that they were going to take your children if you didn't do this and if you didn't do that. Bullshit, they took your children because you took money for your children. You let them do it, Trinity. It's your fault. You, 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 you. It's your fault. Not your mom's, not Aunt and Uncle Disney, it's not fucking The Fuel, it's not the fucking Michael Noel Prescott, and you know, all the, to all the bullshit that him and Tiffany and you do to you, you love it. You fucking love it, okay? Otherwise, you would have not still be participating. You had a chance with me, you know how many promises you made to me? You know, all the money you spent on Michael no Noel and, and, and Tiffany, you know, doing the, whatever, whatever when they want. I just fucking asked fuck for a chance to fucking help me get them some teeth and I would work hard labor. I'd fucking do like 20 times the amount of what they were worth just to help me out. You know, you told me, I don't need them yet. You have to keep me down a little bit longer and that how beautiful you are. And you're getting so much more beautiful every day. And that, you know, now you're going to have to sit down and have Thanksgiving and the holidays with your family, knowing that I don't have any family to spend with me and stuff, you know. And so far, you've turned out to be two-faced, okay? You call me crying, beg, telling me all these horrible things that are happening to you, begging me for it. And I'm like, okay, right there, ready to put my life on the fucking line for you and your children. And you, and then you turn around and make an ass out of me. And do you mean like this, Trinity? You, you just respected me. And therefore, I'm not saying that I'll never like you or be friends with you again. But as far as your chance of ever, ever, ever being right next to me, when I do take the crown as Earth Mother... And the other earth women that I choose to be next to me will be worthy and capable of that. And, you know, it's, I'm not, who knows what the future is going to hold. But at this point, you're out. You're out. You did it yourself. You know. You remember now because your mind control ain't working no more. Because me and you already figured that out how to get through that. The magic words and that you were going to remember. You know exactly what you're doing. Now, you even came here and stole crystals, my crystals from me to give to Michael to do, to do things to hurt me and harm me. You know, you, you gave your children to the Viril machine, and, you know, and they had their DNA fucked with and their biology so that they're reptilians or dragons or aliens or whatever can inhabit your kids. So now, guess what? Your little children, you know who your poor little children are? They don't fucking know. They don't fucking know, but they're not with their mommy, and they're not safe, and they're not anywhere where they want to be, and they're not in heaven floating around on clouds or trapped in some type of talisman or prison prison. Trini, you are the ambassador of Shiva, and you are... You could have done everything to make this world better and make it right. And I love you, and I swear to God, I love you. I love all of you guys, but I, the more I think about it, it's like, you know what? You better watch what you wish for, because you just might get it. Um, oh, and Trinity's mom, like this, okay, right here. Trinity, remember I had the little triangle one that was making a necklace for her and stuff? And if you choose to come through and be a good earth mother... And like, get your husband, or you know, and your uncle, or in his, in the other, um, your sister's husband, the ones that are both members of Bohemian Grove, and just smoke a joint with them. Or, you know, I'm saying you might not smoke joints, but let's say, look, are you guys? Is this really true? Are you guys really like, um, uh, more than human? You don't have to like say aliens or aliens or anything like you say. Are you more than human? Are you Sangarian? Is this really true? You need to let me know so that I can understand. Make you know, be a part of it because they need you more than. They've never had anybody to begin with, okay? Because they've all been doing all that fucked up evil shit to begin with, okay? So they've never really had anybody be there for them right now. But I think Trinity needs his mom, her mom, and Trinity's, and your grandkids. Trinity's mom, wow, upside down. And her dad. Trinity told me he was dead for set and dead, but now his, her mom says he's alive. So Trinity, I don't... You know, I know there's mind control shit going on. I totally understand because I've checked Trinity out. Because the dragons know Trinity's name. The dragons do not know humans' names. Trust me, they do not fucking know humans' names. Nor for a dragon or reptilian or Sangarian to know a human name. It, that human's going to have to be real fucking important to them. Um, but guess what? They're going to forget yours real soon. Because <laughs> you ain't got one. You ain't got one, girl. You have no name. You don't. 